This is going to be the most cancer video I've ever made. Not only because this Windows FX modification thing is kind of cheesy, but my mom's blasting music in the background, so I'll probably get copyright striked, and this will just be a net loss for me. But anyways, go to the first link in the description, and you will see Purchase Windows FX. We're not going to purchase it because, trust me, you're not going to use this for more than 30 days, so we're going to click the Try Free for 30 days. If you want to use it for more than 30 days, you mean there's probably a ton of options on the internet to get this for, you know, not a lot. Anyways, once you start downloading it, you just want to click on the setup.exe. Anyways, once you open up the installer and get mad and take it all out on your pillow, click I agree to the terms of this license agreement, click next, and it'll say, do you want to start, uh, do you want to install Windows Start 10? No, you don't. Click uncheck it, then click next, then click next, and kaboom, you're downloading Windows FX. Now, I'm using a virtual machine, so automatically this is going to look a whole lot more booty cheeks than it will on your computer. But if you have grandma's old computer that literally is beige in color, you might want to avoid this specific application. So the cheeks thing about this program is that you need to start your 30-day trial, then you need to enter an email, then you need to click continue, then it's going to send you an email, which you're going to go on your phone or any other application device, then you want to click on it and you need to click the activate activate 30 day trial button on the email. Then you can click finish and now you can actually use this. So as you can see, Windows FX, FX features are turned on. As you can tell, this is going to be a very low budget video. I am sorry. But anyways, uh, you have a couple other options here. We're just going to ignore it. We're going to go to animations. Now, as you can see... I might have to use my non-virtual machine for this one, and it's on Windows 11. Anyways, now we're on my host machine, because uh, as you could tell, I got a blue screen when I try to click on animation, so let's now give it a rip. Click on the animations tab, and you will see this beautiful window here. Now you have a couple options. You have open animations, close, minimize, and restore animations. So that is going to be open, is going to be opening the app. Close is going to be closing the app. Minimize is going to be the minimize button, and restore is going to be the little square thing. Obviously, my windows might look a little different because I'm on Windows 11, so keep that in mind. Then at the top, you also have these presets here that you can kind of go in, flow from the right, all this other fancy-dancy stuff. You can click on it and then click Preview, and it'll show you how it looks. And also, as you can tell, my GeForce experience is thinking I'm playing some fancy-dancy games. In this case, I'm not. But anyways, you can just click on it, Preview, and you can select whatever the heck you want. I'm just going to go to a preset because I don't have a lot of time here. Anyways, would you like to save your custom current blah 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 blah? No but you can make your own presets, which is pretty cool. Then you also have menus, which uh, I guess you could change the menu to do something. Uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. You could have it spin in. Oh, that's that's just pure awful. So I'm gonna keep that and then spin out. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Now, movement. Whew, this is where it gets really spicy. So in movement, if you click on enable window dragging animations called wobbly windows, if you click on that, oh, this is beautiful, watch this. Wow! Holy moly! So it'll make your windows wobbly. Obviously, you'll have some visual weirdness, especially with Windows 11, because Windows 11 is a little bit different than Windows 10. But you have a couple options down here. You have Compiz style wobbly jelly windows, and you have Windows FX style. I'm going to do Compiz, and oh, it's even more wobbly. Look at that. This is great. If your grandma's trying to read the computer, and you're like, I don't want you to read, Grammy, then there you go. She can't read anything. Neither can I, because I'm getting older now. My eyes are getting worse. And uh, then you have an option of animation should stop instantly. So if I flick it over, it'll stop. I think that looks really jittery. There we go. I think this looks a whole lot better. And this is great. Like, man, the kids who play with fidget toys, they're going to love this. So just keep that in mind. So if you want to change the wibbly wobbliness, then you need to go to the configure button. Then you will see current settings, and you can change a preset. I'm going to do extremely wobbly settings. Then you have Friction Force, so FF. Then you have Spring Force, which is FS, but you can also just change the K constant. Then you have V Scaler for speed. I'm kidding, this is really nerdy. But anyways, click Close, and now when you drag it, you'll notice that is very wibbly-wobbly. This is actually kind of sick. So to see the performance of this application, um, if I just wiggly-wobble this around, you'll notice that OBS is going to spike to 100%, and that's just because there's a lot of frames that are changing, and it's hard on the encoder. But you will see desktop window manager, which is kind of like under above the little window thing that I'm moving around. And I think that's the actual process. So I'm using a 1080 Ti and you notice that it's hovering around 10% if I'm going absolutely nuts with it. So if you have like a lower end card, it might be a little more leggy and a little more harder on your computer. 
But once again, I'm not a computer scientist guy. This is just kind of like really basic uh, numbers that will give you a ballpark on how this will perform on your computer. Once again, you could just try the free trial. That's what I'm doing. I'm uninstalling this right after because imagine trying to do anything productive with this in your face. I just, I lose all track of what I'm doing and I probably won't be able to edit this video because this will just be distracting me all the time. But anyways, as you can tell, not the highest quality video, but I just wanted to put something out there, let you know I'm not dead. But uh, normal uploads will kind of come sooner rather than later. It's just I'm moving and school starting up. So I'm going to be a little busy. So please just keep that in mind. I won't be able to upload every other day, but I'll try my best to do once a week. And maybe at some point I'll go nuts and make a video on some cool tech product that I found online that I repurposed into some massive uh, destruction machine or something. I don't know. I just like doing stuff that I find fun. Anyway, sweetheart, that was the wibbly wobbly windows, uh, windows, window, 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 video. Okay, goodbye. Mwah.